Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 386. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 381 to 386. Hey, in this trick here, we uh, in our last trick, we did a uh, random letter, so if I hit F9, it generates random letters, but we want to see how to do conditional formatting. Now, for, for letters, using comparative operators. Now, way back when, a lot, hundreds and hundreds of videos ago, I did a comparative uh, a video on comparative operators, and I briefly mentioned that comparative operators work on words and letters. So, for example, uh, the letter A is considered less than the letter B. So, boom, all of these can work. We want to highlight all the letters less than M, and then a certain color, and then we want to highlight only the letters between N and X, including N and X. So we're going to highlight our whole range. I clicked in this cell, Control Shift Down Arrow, and as always, the active cell, you have to build your true false conditional formatting formula from the point of view of the active cell. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut Alt. O-D, so O-D, and then see that underline N there, I'm going to hit Alt-N, and automatically at the top here, it's highlighted so I can hit my down arrow, and when I get to the bottom it says Formula, I can hit Tab. That's all with keyboard shortcuts. All right, so the first one I just want to say, hey, that, but it comes up always as a absolute, so I hit the F4 three times, and I want to say that is less than, and in quotes, I forget what we want to do, M, uh, less than M. That means M is not included, anything less than M. And then we're going to format it, say, uh, yellow here. Click OK. Uh, click OK. And let's just see how that works. So, ooh, yuck, we have some like near purple and yellow. Those are complements, so it's kind of clash. If I hit the F9 key, boom, you can see only the letters less than M. Now let's do our next one. We want to do a between N and X, so I'm going to control shift down arrow, build the formula from the point of view of that, Alt O D, Alt N, arrow down, tab. And since we have two conditions, one, two, we're going to have to use the AND function. The AND will take two true-false tests, and when they both come out true, then boom, AND will deliver a true, which is what we want. we got to say, hey, is A5 greater than or equal to, in double quotes, M. Notice this time we use greater than or equal to, oh no, uh, N. So N is included. It's got to be greater than, and you got to put the letters in quotes, of course, because they're text. And we need a 5 less than or equal to x. Now, what this means is, remember, we started out with that color right there. Everything less than m is getting yellow, and everything between and including n and x is going to get. So x, so y, z, and m are the only letters that should be getting uh, that formatting. So I'm going to click here, click red, and since that's dark, value-wise, you always come over and change the font too. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And so now if I zoom down, it looks like there's not an, an M, a Z, or a Y, but if I hit the F9, you could say, oh, there we got it. We got the M or Z. Let's see if we can get a Y, and there's a Y there. So boom. Uh, conditional formatting for less than or greater than a certain letter using operators, comparative operators. All right, we'll see you next trick.